Hello Superzer. So today we're going to learn how to change an instrument mid-score. And this can be used for like if you have doubling on an instrument, like if you want the flute player to play piccolo for a certain section, or in this case, we're going to have the first trumpet player switch to a flugelhorn part in the first section. So we have just one single dummy note here that we want it to play in trumpet, and then this note we want them to play in flugelhorn. First thing we're going to do is we're going to select the measure, come over here to Utilities, Change Instrument, and we want to change the instrument to flugelhorn. And that does a couple things. The first thing is in the instrument list, you'll see under trumpet one, we actually have another instrument, flugelhorn. That's because we changed flugelhorn partway through. And it will almost always also change whatever sound map you're using. So in this case, it's changing the MIDI from our trumpet to a flugelhorn. That's great. Second thing you'll notice, they even change the instrument name on the score. A third thing you'll notice is that if you have multiple instruments, it doesn't change the numbering. So you can still use automatic numbering with the change instrument utility. Now there's just one small little hurdle that we have to go through after putting this up, and that is telling the player to switch to the instrument. Now on first glance, you might think, okay, the way you want to do this is you just want to insert an expression, and we're going to say flugelhorn, like that, and they know, okay, to play that part on flugelhorn, and then whenever we switch back, let's say we're switching back here at this measure, change instrument, back to trumpet, that right here, we just say, Okay, create technique text, trumpet, and they, they know to switch back. And this will perfectly get the job done, and you're free to use this. However, there's a much faster way, especially if you have tons of instrument changes in the entire part. Here's what we're going to do. Well, I'm just going to get rid of those expressive texts, and I'm going to highlight everything. Now, there's a JW plugin called um, Instrument Change, and if you don't know how to use JW plugins, I'll link to a video in the description. But either way, get the JW Change plugin, Click on it, so category technique text, you can do it whatever normal expression you want. Prefix is what's gonna go before, suffix, that's what's gonna go after. So this, for instance, will say two space, flugelhorn, then colon at the end. So if you hit OK, you can see two flugelhorn. And if I actually kept the change instrument to trumpet in B flat over here, and we ran that tool again, It'll also do trumpet in B flat, and it will do this the entire score. And of course, you can always customize what you want before and after. I found with the instrument change, most of the time, you don't even need a prefix suffix. If you say flugelhorn, players will know to play it on flugelhorn. If you say trumpet, players will know to play it on the trumpet. And that's pretty much all you have to do to create an instrument change mid score that will play back correctly, that'll be notated correctly, and the players will know exactly what to play at what time. And so if you found this video useful, make sure to hit that like button. That way I know you want more content just like this. And each week I post new content about how to use Finale to its fullest. So if you don't want to miss out on a video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. That way you can stay up to date with all the Finale tips and tricks.